Audio technical article. Where is artificial intelligence heading? First, we need to understand the concept of artificial intelligence in its technical aspects. In the simplest terms, artificial intelligence it is a system consisting of software and electronic hardware. So, artificial intelligence is basically, essentially, a computer system like a PC or a laptop. The software installed on the electronic hardware does what we want it to do. The more humane the software exhibits, the more intelligent it is, we say. How are you? To a computer. When we asked, thanks. How are you? If he answers, the computer has started to act intelligently. If the computer can look us in the face and comment whether we're sad or not, and why are you sad? If he asks, it means his intelligence has started to increase. The computer received our voice data from the microphone. He took our image from the camera. The software has translated our voice into text. He looked at the database and gave us the answer in the database. The image data is also compared with the data in the database and how to respond is program. This simple example helps us understand to things well. Artificial intelligence is a result of the combination of software and hardware. The programmer decides what the software should do. Chip technology continues to evolve. The chip manufacturing technology has gone down to the level of 2 nanometers. At the same time, the CPUs that keep programs running have also gotten faster. 5 gigahertz, 6 gigahertz, 7 gigahertz. Speeds are now normal CPU speeds. What does this mean? The CPUs necessary for the operation of an artificial intelligence program have worked much faster and have reached the level of rapid decision are making. The CPUs necessary for the operation of an artificial intelligence program have worked much faster and have reached the level of rapid decision are making. Memory technologies have also evolved a lot and continue to evolve. There are many types of memory such as RAM, SD card, SSD. Terabytes of data can fit in very small sizes. For example, 1 TB 10 terabytes of data can be fit in one square millimeter size. In other words, both the data capacity of the memories increase and the speed of accessing the data increases. One of the important things artificial intelligence needs is memory. The memory to record data such as voice, image, temperature, demographic data, geographical data, health data should be small, fast and high capacity. Too much data. We have said that artificial intelligence, in its most basic sense, consists of software and hardware. Artificial intelligence programming is a very broad subject. At this point, the importance of programmers is understood. Professor Dr. Vasiv V. Nabiev's book on artificial intelligence includes sections on how to process data. For example, processing audio data requires great expertise in itself. Because when it comes to audio data, maybe there are millions of types of audio data. So, in short, the initial analysis of the data is a very important issue. There are thousands and tens of thousands of data types such as audio data, image data, statistical data, motion data, medical data. With the shrinking of chip sizes, increasing memory capacities, and increasing the speed of CPUs, this data size problem becomes surmountable. And a lot of programmers are needed. IAT what is Internet of Things? IAT object are small electronic circuits designed to collect, pre-analyze, and export data. It contains sensors and MCUs. So IAT object is small mini computer. The ESP32 series modules produced by Espressif are the best examples for IAT. They can transfer data to computers such as PC, laptop, Android phone. Tablet with communication protocols such as USB, UART, I2C, SPI, WiFi, Bluetooth. For example, with an ADC connected to the ESP32 to a 12F module, data can be received from the outside world and data can be transferred to laptop via WiFi protocol. At the same time, data can be sent to the ESP32 to 12F module 
a lamp can be turned on, an engine can be started. Besides Wi-Fi, the Bluetooth protocol can also be used for communication. Could it be organic artificial intelligence? Everything in the computer world is about electronics. So artificial intelligence is also about electronics. Inorganic chips are very small and can collect data by connecting to organic objects. These chips can even control organic structures. There is also organic electronics work, organic transistor, organic sensors, etc. With these organic electronic elements, every organic creature, human, animal, plant can be made a part of artificial intelligence. That is, the organic world, the organic data source, can be connected to a computer to artificial intelligence. Thus, AI can also become faster to learn. Artificial intelligence for new learners. Artificial intelligence is a broad field. Artificial intelligence is about every branch of science. What should be the first step for those who want to work on artificial intelligence? For those who develop Android apps, there is an APK, TensorFlow APK. You can download this APK and make artificial intelligence applications for Android operating systems. There is a JavaScript library for making web browser-based artificial intelligence applications. TensorFlow.js For those who are stepping for the first time, I recommend that they make applications with the JavaScript.js library. Thanks for listening.